Yo, what's up, everybody? This your man, uh, Chris Thorns. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're looking at my videos, um, as always, <clears throat> like, comment, and subscribe. What you just saw and what you just heard is exactly what you saw and what you just heard. You have two women... And I'm probably giving them too much credit calling them women. Did a video putting a child in a refrigerator. And when they put this child in the refrigerator, they laughed about it. And as they heard the child screaming to the top of his lung, they were still laughing about it and um to the baby out there and said at the end of the video that um see the baby is fine you know this is all this all was a joke to them um ladies and gentlemen um it's sad that it seemed like that this is it's becoming a hot commodity now that people is doing dumb shit on cameras that's dealing with kids. It's becoming a hot commodity now. You know, they do this dumb ass shit with these children and then turn around and get caught and then want to whine and plead and beg about the dumb shit that they do and they want people to show them mercy, but why should anybody show you mercy after doing some shit like this that you just did? Why, why should anybody show you any kind of mercy? You didn't show that baby no mercy, so why should anybody show you any kind of mercy? And I say, you know, a lot of these women need to take a mentality test or something before they start breeding. I'm sorry, they do. Because something got to be mentally fucked up wrong with you to even want to pull some bullshit like this you know something got to be mentally wrong with you to even want to pull some shit like this and then on top of that you know you hoes start laughing about it you know that and that made it even worse you start laughing about the shit now i don't know i don't have much information about this video i don't know if these are one of them girls children or this is somebody baby who they watching whatever the case may be, but I really don't give a fuck about that because regardless of what, this was dumb, idiotic, and it was straight up cruel. Cruel as hell. Okay? And I had no sympathy for people like this, male or female. I had no sympathy whatsoever. Now, y'all saw NBC caught this story, so apparently somebody must sent them this story. Now, I don't have any update information if these girls are being caught or whatever, but hopefully whoever saw this had enough sense to report this, especially somebody who know these chicks. Now, a lot of it was being blurred out, so I can't tell whether they black or white, but you, you judge by the voice sound like they was black okay but regardless of what color they is in these matters you know what i'm saying they some stupid bitches they are they really are and it's sad that me and other content creators do stuff like this putting the word out you know how sick our society is especially when it comes to these kids that a lot of us probably get flagged or you know like i did a video early you know uh, i was trying to use the google adwords thing you know trying to get my channel more exposure and my shit keep getting declined but i i saw some comments under there you know now I understand why it's getting declined you know what i mean stuff like this they just don't want you talking about it it's called shocking content well that's the purpose of a lot of us doing youtube videos because of shocking content that's what the news do Shocking content. That's what TMZ do. Shocking content. That what World Star Hip Hop do. Shocking content. That was Media Eight Outtake do. Shocking content. But these people can make millions and views off of it 
if they running it as a campaign, they can get views and all this shit off of them and probably even getting paid. And my channel ain't even monetized. Because I don't even want my money. I mean, shit, excuse me. I have no desire to have my channel monetized. I, I just really don't. This is a hobby for me. It is. It's just a hobby. This internet shit is not my life. This is what I do when I do live stream. When I do these videos. You know, it's a hobby. But don't get me wrong. If somebody was to pick me up, and say, hey, you got a good voice, man. You know, I want you to come do something for us. I ain't going to be stupid and turn it down. All right? But this ain't just something that I'm making my life out of. You know? Um, I like a lot of feedback that a lot of y'all get with these videos I do and all that. But like I say, I can't stress that enough. This is only a hobby for me. But would I like for my channel to get big? Of course I would. Who wouldn't? Of course I would. And like I said, if it takes for me to run a campaign, and probably throw a little money out there, you know what I'm saying, get my shit out there, I mean, I'll do that. I will. I do that. I mean, it ain't nothing I'll be. I do on an often basis. But you know what I'm saying? But if it's a video that I feel like it should get exposure, I'm probably going to do what I got to do and get that exposure out there. I ain't got no shame in my game, man. Real talk. No shame in my game. But that's kind of getting off topic with that shit right now. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about these stupid bitches. Like I always tell y'all people, um, I really do believe that a positive male role model in the house changes up a whole lot of things it changes up a whole lot of things and a lot of time you do have a positive male role model in your house a lot of shit that you see on social media will not go down especially something like this now if this is one of them girls child i would like to know where the baby father is and how he felt about the whole situation after he saw this if he give a damn at all you know, that's the major thing, if you give a damn at all. You know, and this this sad. This shit is sad, you know, because I was debating with myself whether I was going to do this or not because somebody tagged me in this when I saw this. I said, good good grief. When when this madness end? When this madness end? And why do y'all record this dumb shit that you do to kids? Now, I can take the fighting and all that other shit, you know. We can take do videos about that laugh our motherfucking ass off. But y'all know a lot of my shit revolves around kids. You know, and seeing shit like this, you know what I'm saying, man, just rips me apart inside. Because it made me feel like, you know what I'm saying, that's my child, man. Somebody finna get got. Somebody, somebody finna get happen the same thing to them that they did to that to my child. I'm sorry, it just finna happen. This deed right here is not gonna go unpunished. You deserve to get punished, me, because you punished my child. All right? But in this world now, I'm glad I don't have any children. Because if I had a baby mama did something like that, I'd allow her be in jail, man. Real talk. What is she, white or black? I don't give a fuck what race she is. I'd be in jail. Because my baby's innocent. Me and you lay down, we made this child together. I'm not hurting my baby. I'm showing my baby number straight up love. So why the fuck you feel like it's funny doing harm to my child? And laughing at the shit. And then at the end of the time, like, uh, see, he's okay. That's not the point, you dumb bitch. The point is what the fuck you did. Something could have happened. Because in this time, you know what I'm saying, shit can happen at the snap of a fucking finger. But a lot of us overlooked that. A lot of us overlooked that. Oh, uh, it was only just a few seconds. A few seconds could have been the end of their child life. But a lot of us are too stupid to think about that. Or we just don't give a fuck about others at all. Some of us are just selfish. We just give a fuck about our own selves. You know? But you know what, uh, y'all, they're just the way of the world. You know, I can't change it. I can sit up here and do these videos and preach all day. Other YouTubers, they can sit up here and preach all day about this shit. But is anything really going to change? And on top of that, you know, if Black Lives Matter, then what's up with this video right here? Because apparently these females black, which I'm assuming they are, but I can't just really tell because everything blurred out. But if they are black, then apparently black lives didn't matter to them. Okay, especially if that baby was black. It didn't matter to them for them to throw a motherfucking child and possibly a black child in the refrigerator. Okay, so if black lives supposedly so matter so much and we supposed to care so much about our black community, then why are we seeing shit like this on TV? Why are we allowing shit like this on TV? As a matter of fact, why is World Star Hip Hop and Media I take even allowing shit like this come on their websites? Could it be they don't give a fuck? Or could it be about their money? It makes them money? Or could it be just about just make them views or anything? 
I don't know. I do not know. But this shit right here got to stop. This shit right here has got to stop. Because at this point now, it seems like there's no such thing as Black Lives Matter. But that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. So let me show y'all this one more time. And uh, I'm going to get on out of here, y'all. Real talk. Disgusting. Just disgusting. You trifling bitches, you trifling whores. Y'all disgust me. Just disgusting. <sighs> anyway, I'm your man Chris Thorns. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share your thoughts. Uh, I'll be going live later on today, so hopefully y'all tune in on that one. But uh, yeah, y'all take care of yourself and each other. And uh, God bless the children. Bless the children.